Uh, let's see, where is our group here? Um, we can bring in more flourishes if we wanted to. But just by even controlling the light and letting appear what you want to appear uh, just gives you more control and more of an effect because it was too busy otherwise. It's way too busy with all those things going on. So, yeah, that's still too much. But actually, since we took the other busy stuff away, we can just do more of something on our layer effect. So I'm double clicking. I usually don't use yellow for some reason. All right, let's just increase our size here. There. You can also use stroke, but for something this small, yeah, you can still make it work. Uh, flyer designers use stroke a lot because it just helps things stand out more. Let's just get this a little softer. Yeah. But that helps it stand out from the background. And uh, actually we could do just another blank layer and go to our gradient tool and make sure we're on foreground and transparent and then just do some extra gradient swiping to further limit the light okay then we can lower the opacity just gives you a little more control like that like I said um, and actually this was too busy this stuff you can do that for something else so really quickly if we just didn't use any of that and we just did a simple color fill actually let's just go to solid color and choose something like this all right then we can instantly get it going in that direction and this is Pantone's new um, consumer blue that's what they call it consumer blue keep that in mind <laughs> and we could also take this and maybe use it somewhere else let's take it out of that group and we can have this here and put something else uh, in that clipping group so already we're just going in a different direction or we can just hide the clipping group so now it's like um, like a wedding shower uh, duplicate and just double click they do have wedding showers right that's what they're called baby showers wedding showers okay and it's not a bad idea to use two different types of fonts when you're doing things like that tonight at 7 p.m. Waldorf. Whatever. And so we double click and just find a different font. Uh, when you're making announcements, flyers, things like that, you want to make sure they're legible. Uh, the directions or the address. But you want to make sure it looks good too and it fits within the image. Uh, so let's just find a simple legible font. Impact is used quite a bit, but not always for, you know, flyers like this. They use it in club flyers a lot. Impact, the font impact. Yeah, like this, this font wouldn't really fit with this. I mean, it's just, it's like common sense, but more fine-tuned. And, you know, with your experience and the more experience you get, the more you'll be able to, you know, understand and feel what actually works uh, within a design. As long as it's legible, that's what kind of matters. Now, usually you don't want two cursive fonts going on. You want to balance it out because uh, too much can be overkill. So let's just, uh, not something technotronic or anything, just something legible. No, nope, that's too techy. Fine. Now we can bring up our character palette to make adjustments here. See there's a space in between. Uh, what we can do is just 
modify our letting or leading and our kerning which is the space in between letters um, so if we want this closer what we would do is just kern things over there all right to make individual adjustments and we're doing more typography at different times actually let's uh, make that a little bit smaller and we'll still have to make adjustments there we go bring that up not that much but you get the idea and we can change the font color get a preview here that's fine now another thing you can do with things like this is put something really light in the background and actually just a good example would be to go to our brush palette I'm still gonna do that red thing which I told you about more of a red theme uh, and actually we could do that with this too easily just go create another color fill and since this is solid the one we put on top is going to be solid so it's just there you know but I still want to do like that Spanish thing I was talking about so that was pretty easy once you got like the template set up but what we can do is grab another brush uh, let's go to our brush palette and just bring up some really cool very large uh, effect in the background yeah something like this that's kind of flowery or so forth and let's go ahead and get a, a white foreground color or a light light white okay gray or white and make sure we get a new layer okay and let's just go ahead and you want to make it fit because if you just put it in it's it's gonna cut it off I'll show you because if we move this down it's cut off so you want to make sure you know you're getting what you want and actually black does kind of work for its own thing there but what we can do is if you wanted it instead either undo or control or command click on the layer icon and we can get our foreground color alt backspace because we have that selection we can go ahead and fill it and there we basically have our white because it was a brush it's easier to do things like that um, and since it's kind of busy against there we can just lower the opacity just so it's more the background more in the background so we got like different tones of red actually now just helps complement uh, the entire design and actually uh, just try different brushes but you don't want it too busy just something like in the background uh, let's go ahead bring up our brushes again and where'd that go brushes here we go maybe pick something else something that's not too busy just like um, a different flourish okay and just go ahead and once again let's get a new layer keep it independent uh, remember I recommend you name your layers so let's just do that double click oops double click on the name itself brush flourish to whatever you want to call it I don't always name layers when I work but there we go we have that and then you know we can move that around controller command T learn your shortcuts know your shortcuts know how to use them and um, say we want to put a border frame around here like a white border a uh, couple ways you can do that but let's just do it this way let's go ahead and just make a selection here across the entire area and make a new layer and then let's go to edit stroke okay and let's do an inside stroke so that way it's going to be on the inside and we can choose the color of the stroke let's just go with white for now and two pixels and